yes so this is our almost sixth meet so we have completed uh, one and half month uh, with this uh, our statistical saturday club and today the arrangement is that today i have not planned something i have just downloaded one data set which is available with my project so that data set only uh, i am going to use uh, for today's session so please download the given data set uh, for your knowledge once you all are ready with the data set we will start with session and in session first we will take the follow up of last our two five weeks what we have learned so that it will be like a quiz i will just show some names of formulas on the screen and you try to remember that what are those formulas so this is our today's agenda that we will take the revision of last five weeks what we have learned so that it will just trigger our neural network so that it will be in our memory then we will uh, try to create some basic dashboard so we will use uh, since the beginning what we have learned from session 1 to session 5 in real life situation so that uh, this is the data set which i will dis uh, discuss later uh, and the last we will now conclude our uh, excel journey uh, i will just try to share uh, my opinions about learning excel how we can go further and how you can grow in the excel knowledge that things i will just uh, share in last couple of minutes so that yes we will start our uh, today's session so can uh, anyone uh, recall what is the formulas which has been given on the screen are you able to see that you can just tell that how we can uh, make use of those formulas first is a len formula can anyone remember what why we can use that formula what is the use of that formula len anybody just try to give a shot even if it is wrong don't worry vijay are you able to remember okay akram is saying concatenate for attaching the two cells yes so two cells to be more precise two strings so two text files we can connect so yes one is correct then anyone knows what is stream find meet left right yes yeah. stream function is used to remove extra spaces from our data ah uh, yes so correctly suggest said that stream is that to remove the extra spaces uh, while our typing mistakes are there or when we are scraping data when we are copying the data from some website it might come some very messy format so there will be some extra spaces here and there left side right side mid side and you want to clean that data in that case you can use the trim function which will remove the extra spaces so it will just keep there should not be any additional spaces in this beginning in the end no spaces only after each word it will give one one space that only will be remain yes what about the <coughs> len formula len len is abbreviation of length so now you can tell me that what is the len formula how we can use it uh, what i am able to remember i think uh, for the number of letters in that word yes so len is just if there is text we are storing in a cell suppose it, it is T D A. We have stored in cell A one, and if we write the formula len in bracket A one, what is the len cell of len A one? So it will return us the number three because T D A three characters are there. Okay. What about right, left, and mid? Uh, now I will explain the, these formulas because you might not remember. Right is to extract the text. 
from the right side so if you take the text written we will take the example of the dhan academy there are three words i want to only extract the academy part so i will start from the end which is the right side of the text so that i will extract a c a d e m y so total seven characters from the right side so if i write the formula right with selected text and the number of characters which is the seven i will only get the academy part the same case in the left so the character is coming in the beginning of the uh, formula so that i will extract the three characters from the left side t h e so i will get the t and mid is that you can start from anywhere you can give the index i want to just only extract the h e part from the the so that i will start with second position and i will extract only two characters h and e so that is the uh, three formulas and we learned this is in first uh, session uh, i hope that you remember that we solved the problem of how we can make use of these formulas to uh, there is another one formula we missed that is the find formula the find formula is that it search the substring so now you can see on the screen that it's uh, can you recall in that word i want to search whether recall is there or not in that case i can use the find function so that i can use the find call in can you recall and it should return me the character where the call word is starting so in this case if you can see on the screen it should return three characters for can then fourth character is space again three characters for u then again is space so total eight characters up to r then r e so there are total 10 characters so it should return me the 11 because the call word is starting on the 11th position so it will find me the position where that substring is there and if doesn't find it will return you the error with na okay so these are the formulas for uh, text processing then we learned some session session we have seen the proper formula where we can format our uh, our given text in the case where the first letter is uh, alpha uh, capitalized other all letters are in uh, normal case or small case uh, same that we are seeing all formulas i have written in upper case so the same formula is there we can use the lower or upper formula then there is substitute formula just to remember strike through your mind because you will use uh, all these functions here and there while creating the dashboard so substitute is that you substitute you replace so now can you recall i want to say can you remember so i want to change the call with member so i will just find call and replace it with the member so in that case i will use the substitute formula okay and then we are having yeah, okay. uh, our formula count or count it uh, can you anyone uh, just uh, tell me the difference between the count and count a this was our uh, major question in the quiz can you anyone Give a try. What is the difference between count and count A? These are two functions. Try at least guess. What will be the difference? Count option, I think, will be, yeah. count will be numbers. Ah. And uh, count A will be, I think, uh, if it is not blank. Yes. So, Akram is correct that count is function is used only for the numbers. So, if there are numbers in the range, it will count how many numbers are there in your given range. So what is range? Range is a bunch of cells, connected cells. So if you start, now you, I hope that you all can imagine in the Excel. So that if I start with A1 to B5, so there are total 10 cells because A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. So these are the cells. This is called as A1 to B5 as a range. Okay. 
just for uh, your remember so that whenever i am going count function with the parameter of this range if i write the function is equal to count in bracket a1 to b5 it will count how many numbers are there in this range okay in the case if there are only a b c d i have written in the, this cell it will return me the zero so the count is not equal to the count a count a as akram correctly said it is counting the number of cells which at least have any value and th those are not blank to be honest so those are having any value uh, it can be integer it can be a number it can be float it can be a text anything but it should not be the blank so that it will count how many cells are there which are not blank and then we uh, saw the formula called sum product the sum product we uh, if you remember we used the problem of budgeting where we want to calculate everything like i have purchased 10 pens per pen is 10 rupees and i have to collect like 10 pens so that is 100 rupees then there is uh, rubber then there is another items i want to all multiply and then sum so that name suggests you that sum product product is multiplication and sum summation of that whole product range so that can be done with single formula called sum product sum product formula is uh, useful in many cases we will learn that and at that time if you remember we i told you that in matrix multiplication uh, we can use the sum product formula very efficiently uh, can anyone tell me what is the round function and why i have written d slash u in front of that just try to recall it will not take uh, much time we are having more four minutes left to finish with this round I have written d slash u. Why? What is the round function and what is the meaning of d and u? Can anyone remember? Okay, so round is having, ah yes, so Sakshi has correctly said that to uh, specify the digit, so actually it's not digit, but the decimal places. Uh, digit means only number, but if I write 1, 2, 3, that is 3 digit number, so there are 3 digit. But what is the decimal places? Decimal places is that 123 dot or point, ah, okay, no issues, 123.5. So that 0.5 is that decimal places and how many decimal places you want uh, to be there or reduce or increase it. Halil, you want to say something? So, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Feel free. So that uh, round D, I have written for round down. 123.5, in that case, I want the only 123. I don't want whatever point plus is extra capital. Suppose there is money. In money transaction in the bank, you can see that uh, sometimes they might charge you the interest of 123.5 rupees. In that case, they will not count 0.5. They will, you need to only pay 123 rupees because nowadays no one using the uh, PESA uh, currency. So now you can use only 123. But in the case uh, of rounding up, many of the uh, shopkeepers might want you to round off so that in that case they want 123.5 should become 124 because they will get more income so that in that case you can use round up up is that above round d down is lower so that it is also called as floor function in mathematics and the floor function takes what is the floor d down for the floor okay so these uh, functions are very useful we learned in second session these are the functions which are also important. Can you just remember very uh, easy formula? Is the use of month formula. Others I will uh, tell, explain. Just only you can tell me what is the month formula. Uh, why we use it? Any volunteer?
what is the month for i will give you a hint uh, when we we are now moving into the dates and date manipulation uh, how we can do with uh, what kind of work we can do with the dates what is the month formula okay so uh, uh, yes. Uh, we can set date, I think. Uh, uh, we can calculate uh, uh, till date. That is uh, how many months or days we can calculate. Okay. So, Halil and Akram are having uh, some guess that uh, we can set. But actually, uh, this formula is not about setting. This formula is extracting. Yes. So, that if I am given with the date, that 1st January 2024, I don't want what is the date it is. I just want to know that in which month that date is occurring. I'm only worrying about the month. And why I should worry about the month? Because many a times like budgeting and etc. We will do month wise. I need to spend this much amount in that month. Suppose you take your bank transaction. I want that in this month, particular month, how much I have spent, how much I have earned. So that you can sum the debits, debit part. So that how much you have spent. In this within month and you can then you can sum credit part but for that you need to identify in which month that date is falling i don't want first january or 31st january i want to know that whether it is january or not in that case you can use the month formula and if you remember interestingly that excel internally saves the date as a number so that it saves only a integer and we, uh, I hope you remember all that we started, we have seen that the date starts with 1900 of uh, or 31st December 1899. It starts somewhere there. Uh, that doesn't worry about it. The point is that it saves only an integer. So that whenever you are writing or typing any date, it is only saving a number like 1000 or 2000 or 3000. It is counting that how many days has been elapsed since that particular fixed date so date value returns as the number if i give the date suppose i give 31st march 2023 it will return me some number around 4000 which uh, shows me that how many days so it is integer number which has been getting stored then we have seen formulas very interesting formulas today and now today function is returning us the date of today what is the date today if i write this function Today, with uh, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, it should return me 23rd December 2023 today. And just for your information, remember, whatever the date of your system, your laptop, your computer has been set, that date will come into your Excel sheet. Because Excel is fetching date from the operating system or from your computer. Okay, So that if it is wrong, in your uh, calendar, your system, it will also come wrong in your Excel. Okay, so that while debugging, you keep this in mind. Then you will come to the now function. Now function is same like today. It will return date and time also. What is the current time in our HHMMSS format? What is HHMMSS? Hours, minutes, and seconds format. It will return us that what is the current time that we are having. Then date diff is function which can calculate the difference between the two dates. Uh, we can do the direct subtraction within the dates uh, that is also possible but date diff is very precise uh, operation and here the first two parameters you need to give the starting date and ending date. Okay, So that when you are doing manually with subtraction you will get the greater date minus the smaller date. So if I want to calculate my age, I will minus my date of birth from today's date. So today should come first, then my date of birth. But while I am counting in date diff, it should be reverse inward. So that first my date of birth will come from there up to my current date today. And it has third parameter called M, D or Y. So D also you can come that if you can count in days. I want difference in days, how many days I am on this earth or I want to count how many months I am living on this earth. 
or how many years I have completed so far on earth so that you can use the div function then we have introduced very important function if you don't remember just I want to give a call those who know uh, or remember the logical functions which I have introduced just raise your hand that I remember if you don't remember uh, just don't worry about it what I would suggest to you that please go and open our session number third I think uh, because we were not able to cover it in second session it was planned in second session please go and watch these functions called true false and or not so these are very 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 basic if you want to learn python if you want to learn sql if you want to learn power bi if you want to learn a looker studio anything in advance you if you want to learn spss if you want to learn something another programming or computing this is the very very fundamental part of all this knowledge so that you please remember those if you don't remember now don't worry make a note of it you go and check once again even i have given some problems over there you can practice so it is very very uh, important i will just give quick review i will not cover everything and then we have seen formulas like if count ifs sum ifs if error okay i'm just spending too much time because i know that when when at many times i will recall it then only it will fit in your mind because two three times we listen then it will fit so if is that just conditional formatting if there is uh, date is greater than today give me something count tips that based on the condition i want to count only the dates which are falling in january month so that you can use the count if i want to count only the male population how many males are there in given list there is list male female other gender male female other i want to count only how many males are there in that case you can use count if sum if you can use i want to sum only the population which is in under obc category or general category or scst category in that case you can use the sum if to sum the income with function and we have seen the if error to handle the known error which we can calculate then we have seen the match v lookup h lookup and x lookup so these are the function to search something whenever we are uh, doing something search we we are uh, we want to search something in given list i want to know that whether the name mayur is in the list of td alumni group i want to search whether it is there or not i want to check it is very painful to search because we might miss it in that case we can use the v lookup function so that it will have some key to identify uniquely identify i want to get the marks of the third student in the subject qtmr in that case i can use the v lookup to check in which uh, column uh, the row it is the row number and then i will get the column number for which the qtmr has been specified okay then h lookup h lookup is just the inverse of the uh, v lookup here you are searching in the column so the one column has been given you are searching the name now you suppose that column you have made it a, it's called transpose so you, you have put all your numbers 1 2 3 4 5 3, 6 in uh, your row single row in that case you can use the h lookup so that you will search in the row and then you will search the number of row below how many rows below i want to get the information x lookup is uh, advanced version of v lookup where we can search Uh, with multiple ranges multiple conditions also we can search so if we look up we are having condition that whatever you want to search must be in the first column of the data in that data sheet it must be in the first column then only you can search in x look up you can search in any column and you will get the value at last uh, we have seen in our last session we have seen the conditional formatting the cross sheet reference that how we can get the data from other sheet the named range that how we can give suppose uh, in uh, i said to you one to b5 and again and again i need to remember that a1 to b5 a1 to b5 i will give the name that this is my first data set and then whenever i want to call that range i can simply type that first data range i need not to remember what are it is a1 to b5 or a1 to b4 etc then it is stable we can define the table and then we have learned the data pivot table you all know 
and the data validation okay so now we will move to the uh, yes we have spent uh, too much time on the revision but i hope that it uh, might be useful for you now i will request all of you just download the whatever the data set i have provided to you i'll just go through the data set before that whenever you are going into your organization and asking for the dashboard what are the things are there that you must know so the things you should know that are the domain knowledge so first you should know about the ngo sector what is ngo sector why they are working how they are working uh, that many of times you will get from your degree college side you will get this uh, domain knowledge if you don't have it first importantly you learn about it suppose i told you that create a dashboard for some company then you need to have the knowledge about the business what is the rate of return which indicators i should know which indicators i should look at what is the sales what is the break even point so all this knowledge you should have then only uh, you can create the good dashboards all aspects of given project so that is about general your uh, knowledge you are having good knowledge about the ngo sector development sector etc but also you should know the every aspect of your current project current activity for which you are going to create the dashboard suppose i am working only with the goat rearing farmers in that case i should know about what is the project whether i am working on the vaccination or whether i am working on a market linkage or whether i am in working in the backward linkage so these are the terms terminologies i should know because then only i will know that what i want to monitor and clarity most important i should have clear that what i want to monitor why why i want to monitor that is called uh, key performance indicator kpis and etc so that we will look uh, into the detail now i'll just open my excel sheet i hope now this is visible is it visible yes okay i will just zoom a bit okay so that uh, you must have downloaded this so that uh, you also know just a minute right uh, there are some sheets are here i will just uh, give you some brief about what is this Uh, project exactly this is a real life project i am working on this project uh, in my current job and currently i am really having the assignment to create the dashboard for this job so this is the real life situation and you might be working in your life to create such a dashboard so that's why i preferred to give you the real life example that how to uh, create a dashboard so this is the project called abhaya uh, here mainly our organization is working with the adolescent girls in the municipal corporation schools pune municipal corporation schools so it has is it assumption that uh, the pmc uh, school students are coming from marginalized community and they require the special focus on the sanitary waste what is that and the, their some uh, health aspect that how they can take the nutritious food etc but as our majorly the domain knowledge in the solid waste management we are focusing here we have partnered with uh, padcare labs that is one uh, startup in the pune so they are working on the recycling of the sanitary pads for the girls so they are creating some useful things such as the uh, the diaries the calendars pencils and also some uh, flower pots so these things they are creating from the sanitary waste which we can even uh, cannot imagine so that is very interesting part so here we have selected the 40 schools so first uh, task was to collect the baseline survey from the 40 schools of pune municipal corporation that is our first task in that task we have covered the basic information which is relevant to us from the school that how many number of girls are studying also the ladies staff is available so based on that with our criteria 50 uh, women might require one bin so we are going to the idea is that we will set up a bin uh, in the washrooms 
so that a woman can deposit their waste properly so it will be segregated sanitary waste and then every fortnightly the person from padcare lab will collect that waste and recycle it and make it into the useful products for the cell so that is the whole idea so that we need to know that how many bins we are going to install in each of those uh, schools then we need to conduct awareness session to let them know uh, what is the hygiene practice they can do uh, what what kinds of uh, security measures they can take what kind of food they can take like this so first sheet the school master sheet which you are now able to see uh, that contains the data about the schools uh, we will come to the later the second part is that once uh, here in school master sheet if you go and check the eligibility status actually it has uh, now it don't have the formula because uh, that has been calculated but i will show you that how you can do that also so that eligibility status is uh, calculated that how many girls uh, how many bins should be installed in the given school so now they here the first school is netaji subhachandra bos uh, there is requirement of two bins so it is not correct we will just uh, recalculate it and uh, we will show that how we can do that also the second one is that bins uh, installation so now this is the status of how many bins have been installed so this is the date so in 2022 there are some bins are installed then there is gap of one year almost and then in the october 23 they have again started in it had gone now up to updated up to the 19th of the december so now here is a uh, information for uh, in which school they have been installed and uh, we need to check that whether the madam will use the contact number for checking that whether it is correct or not then here we are having the data of i'll just give borders yes so of how many the lectures have been conducted the awareness sessions who was the uh, facilitator and what was the focus of the session all was it was uh, similar and how many uh, girls participated in that session okay the bin maintenance sheet is having data about the how many girls are uh, the bin bins have been maintained how many bins have been collected how much waste has been collected in the grams they need to weigh it and if there is any issue the person who is going to collect that bin needs to come over here are you able to see uh, some uh, light red color in my screen yes we are okay so now currently i am in g10 cell i will write here that n a okay so now that color has been gone can you tell me that uh, which function of the excel uh, am i using here just to recall last session uh, we learned about it you might know about it I, I, it seems that everybody needs to again uh, it should not happen that after the all sessions excel knowledge is same at that place only okay don't worry you just go recall the uh, last session we have learned this called conditional formatting condition is that if there is value in that cell don't give any color uh, it must be the white background if it doesn't have any color any value then you color it as a red and why it is useful i will just show you that before we start i just want to demonstrate you for that i will just change my layout first just uh, are you able to see now my uh, excel whole window must be visible isn't it yes the whole window is visible yes so now if you go in the school master sheet there is a list of schools okay now i'll just tell you that that how we can do called the, the data validation i i demonstrated in the last uh, session also but at that time i again saw the recording the video not uh, got 
properly uh, it was not visible so i will just show you that how effective it is for using in the our data sheet now you come to the our bins installation sheet here in the c sheet you cannot enter if i try here to rename this school as a tda if i press enter you might see that the error is coming are you able to see it yes yes what it is saying that the value you entered is not valid so that i cannot enter any value which is, so if the school if the school is in the this list then only i am able to enter it here so that i will i can hear uh, if you see i am using the very basic uh, version of the excel uh, it is some some small down arrow I'll just zoom it here are able to see a small down arrow if i click here it is going with a list of whole all schools now again i will go school master list and i add here one uh, school called tda and again i will come here and i will try to type the tda so i will t t a and now okay so because uh, i will just demonstrate you how to do here so first important i will just delete this cell so now here you can go into the data okay see properly you need to go into the data validation and then you are having here some down allo uh, data validation part it will open a window are you able to see it so whenever you go in the indication mark that are you able to see it okay yes i think it is visible so now allow in this space you can mention that what you want to allow you want to allow only whole number you can select it the whole number is that you can enter 3 but you cannot enter 3.5 okay in that case of money money i cannot now give you 120.5 rupees because paisa is not now in the legal currency so i want to only enter the decimal number that means i can enter only 0.1 to 0.5 but i cannot enter 1 i cannot enter 1 or 2 i need to enter only the decimal point 1.5 then there is list there is date so that in this case in the b column i can say that whatever you enter must be the date only you cannot enter anything other than date time you can enter the time text length so that i can decide suppose uh, there is a gender and you have coded it as that m for male f for female o for other t for transgender so in that case you can say that text length should be only one you can have options only m f o or t okay and custom you can give your custom formula but we are not, will not go into that we will select the list and then you are having here option for the source that which list you want to select you can here you can type you can type also that i want only the t m o g so you separate it by comma it will also work but i want it to be uh, the dynamic i don't want to fix it i want it to be updated so that i will just go select and go into school master sheet it is not accepting me so i will type schools master sheet then i will go give uh, the colon uh, exclamation mark to say that this is my sheet name and now i want to go for c3 to whole c okay i now click okay and now if i write the tda i just check whether it is in school master yes So C three to whole C I have selected installation. Okay, okay, okay. So here I did some mistake. I have not written is equal to. So 
so now uh, just i want to give you that uh, in google sheets if you write c3 to c uh, that is fine uh, just now i tried on excel right now c3 to c uh, the google sheet will understand that from starting from c3 up to the c whatever sales are there you count it i will not worry about it here uh, you need to mention so that for just safe case i mean uh, saying that c3 to c 100 now it must uh, take me yes now it is taking my value as a tda if i go back and remove this tda from my master sheet now i have removed this from my master sheet and if i come back here again if i type suppose tda now it will give me the error that the value you have entered is not valid anyone having doubt up to here anyone any doubts please uh, if you have doubt please keep because we are having just only 20 minutes we need to we are not started on dashboard also are you clear shubham vijay first of all are you there <coughs> Hello, is it audible? Yes, yes. Oh, yes, audible. Yeah, yeah. You are showing that, that uh, drop down list. Yes. You want me to show? Visible list? No, no. I'm, I'm, my question is that are you clear? Everything is fine for you. Right. You don't have any doubt like that. You tell me, confirm me that. Yes, we have understood. We don't have any doubt. You can move further. Yes, we are, we are clear. Yes. I'm clear. Yes. Okay. So that I, I will assume that you all are clear. If you are not, uh, you can just uh, post it in the group again. So now we are coming to the dashboard. Uh, we want to do the dashboard and here is our uh, dashboarding and we want these uh, some format has been given for us already that your uh, boss in this case me has told you that uh, I want to know that number of schools surveyed so baseline survey uh, actually I planned for 40 how many has been achieved how many are pending so that whenever I am presenting this to the someone who at uh, managerial level need not to go and see check master sheet then come here that how many surveys has been completed or not this much time you cannot waste many a times the review meetings the best timing it has been supposed that within 15 minutes if you are able to the review the whole project then it is good so that weekly you can take the 15 minutes of review to see that what is happening with your project so now here i want to just know that how many school survey has been completed how many pending then I want that how many schools has been selected this part we will just uh, delete for our school that this is not required for us then number of awareness session has been uh, covered so it want that how many awareness sessions completed how many students were planned how many students are covered how many students are pending and how many schools are pending so this many uh, data at least six data points uh, we want to know okay the number of bins is stalled okay so that how many uh, bins we have planned so this is calculated feed and i assured you that we will see that how to do that i uh, will just show you that uh, then what is the achievement how many bins has been installed how many are pending okay and the number of bins uh, have been uh, maintained so far we will not look into this part also i'll just delete it because we don't have time and this is just repetitive process the so one more thing i want is that this bins installation part i want some graph month wise graph i want to see that how many the bins have been installed i want to see it graphically so that it will become the graph before we start just i will just show you that uh, how we can use uh, the formula and how it is useful for us to know the formulas see here uh, I, I hope you are able to see I'll just zoom it a bit but now it's 
very bigger skin even on the mobile you can able to see so now i will just delete this so here it is eligibility status the eligibility status is that each every 50 women if there are 0 to 50 women first bean more than 50 to 100 second bean 100 to 150 third bean like that so now i want to calculate here that how many beans i am supposed to install in that case okay i will not ask question because now i am fearing that uh, no one will reply so i will just tell you that how we can approach this problem so first is that we want to know that in total how many women are there how many women we are targeting uh, to know that we will just uh, can divide by 50 that many beans we want to install but 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 uh, if we divide by 50 suppose there are 125 women if we divide by 50 it will come 2 but as per our logic it must be the 3 because more than 100 for 1 to 50 first bean second to uh, sorry 50 to 100 second bean 100 to 150 third bean so that for 125 even for 101 uh, 101 women we should give the third three beans how to do that i'll just sum uh, these are the number of women a possible number of women from fourth standard to the 12th standard including the lady staff i want to do the sum of this and then i want to divide it by 50 okay so now it is coming that 10.12 but i want this not to be 10.12 i want this to be 11 and just now i explained you that how we can do this uh, using the formula called round up that's why i'm teaching you all these formulas these are having the practical your everyday time use so now here you need to use the round up formula because why i want this to be 11 not 10 if i do with our calculation if i just i come here in home if i do here the decrease the decimal points it will come to the 10 if i point here 10.75 here i will write 10.25 and i will just increase and again i will decrease both these decimal places and you will see according to the mathematics it is turning to the 11 but this is turning to the 10 because it is greater than 10.5 it is less than 10 .5. but by default i want to be both numbers to be 11 so that i can do sum first i will do the summation of all uh, these women this many women are i have i will just divide by 50 so that i will get the count of 10 for 10. but i want this again to be processed so i will write the function this whole calculation will be my input for my another formula called round up so round up will make it to the okay, number of digits to be zero okay so then uh, i will just round up to the 11 so now you got the formula that how i have arrived i assume that you uh, all are uh, awake you are all are um, looking at this and i will just format yes, yes yes i'll just drag drop this below so that i will get calculated the how many bins i need to install and for formatting purpose i will just uh, go right click with the formats see uh, most of the times uh, i'm encouraging all of you to use the google sheets because it is free and many advantages are there but uh, Purposefully, I use currently uh, selected this version because uh, there are some advantages of Excel which we want to learn and then we can move to the Google Sheets. Uh, but that will be more uh, useful for you. The, again, just one thing uh, for just you. Now, I, I think some of you are in field, uh, doing your field works uh, like uh, Maharashtra, we have received some two guys. So, what you can do when you are going to enter your uh, questionnaire data into the excel you can make use of the data validation which you have learned here and you see the magic that uh, you will be it will be very easy for you to uh, do all these uh, manipulations so now we will move to the uh, dashboard so first uh, you 
look at this and might be speeding up because only 10 minutes are there we cannot uh, stretch too much this session but just have a look at this if you are any problem you can raise me the question that how you have uh, did this and i will explain you first i will just remove this grid lines uh, are you I, I hope that you are able to see now the screen is uh, totally white there are no any grid lines so i will type something so that you will understand that there is no there are no grid lines i have removed this all grid lines and i will just merge this visible part I'll just zoom it a bit so that uh, those who are in mobile uh, will be able to see my screen and this i will just merge it i will write my project name and this is how we are calling this project here And uh, here you can do this. Uh, I am not good with uh, colors, but I will just try to make so that I just want to see that uh, your dashboard should look a little visible or pretty so that people will look at uh, this. Okay. And now here I want the number of schools surveyed. So I will go into the uh, insert. I will just uh, open my browser. And I will go here and search for school PMG. I'm doing a little fast. So if you have any question or uh, how I'm doing it, just keep me updated. Yes. So I'm getting some uh, PNG. What is the PNG that uh, you can say? This is the image format. And I'm opening the image. So this is the image. Uh, some I don't like this image. I will take this image. So now this image, I am going to uh, save this image. I hope Google will support me. Yes, and in my downloads, I am uh, saving this as uh, school. School dashboard. And I am saving this. Okay, so now I will, I will return. I hope that my whole screen is visible. I will go here and insert a picture from downloads. Insert that here. Okay. So now I want uh, my screen uh, to be visible. Um, little good. I have not uh, planned or worked anything before. So now I want the uh, this area to be known as the school, so that I should know that this is about the schools. So this is about baseline. Okay, so this component up to here, uh, this is the baseline. So I will just give outline border, all outside border here. Okay, so this is what I am looking for. This is the my um, baseline part. Red colors so that make it be black okay so now here I want uh, how many have been planned I want planned uh, achieve achievement I'll just copy paste here little bit visible. So now here it is fixed I am having 40 so this is this field is not a calculated field this is I know achievement is that I want to count the number of cells which have baseline has been completed okay uh, today I might not be end uh, within the time limit uh, those who are having their uh, other responsibilities can those who are free can stay, those who want to go can later watch in the video because today we will uh, finish it so that next week we can start with the statistics, okay. So in achievement part, I need to go and I want to count, count if, why I am using county function because I want to count but with certain condition, I need to go school master list and I want to count, uh, here is the 
status this primary survey status this is the baseline survey yes this is f3 and i want to count from f3 to actually i want to count this uh, whenever you are doing initially before entering any data you are trying to do the dashboard at that time you remember you need to know that how many sales you are going to enter the data here are my uh, 50 sales i need to select uh, like uh, f3 to f100 or something so that i can select more than uh, that then criteria is that i want to select the criteria to be completed i hope that my screen is visible and now i press the enter okay so far i have achieved the achievement is my 51 how many are pending i want that is equal to 40 minus 51 so now you see here the problem is coming i will just zoom to all of them that i want to know here now pending is not minus 11 i want to know that pending is zero i want to show that pending is zero if something goes wrong i will just change here and i will make this completed to be in progress here not started and here it is something not started here I will make it in progress and I will put this in progress to here and now I will come to the dashboard now you see that it is coming uh, correctly but I want to make it less now it is coming correctly that it is pending one but I want that this should not uh, this one is okay but not in case if it is 51 so for that you can use the function called if if c1 minus c c10 minus c11 is less than 0 what if what i am writing here uh, you might be able to see this that if c10 minus c11 is less than 0 then you give only 0 if not if it is greater than uh, 0 or equal to 0 in that case you can give c10 minus c11 okay so now if, if here i go and if i again make it to the 51 now you see even if it is 51 it is coming to be 0 i'm not going into the minus so that's why we were learning this all formulas now you see that how we can able to do that the how many have been planned i planned 40 i have achieved only uh, in that case you can even make it uh, more aesthetics part that you can go and learn anywhere or we can do it because we all are okay with that but you can make it uh, looking aesthetically beautiful by any ways um, as you are having some sense. So please don't uh, you focus on my uh, aesthetic part. Just this is what you can do. You can do the coloring and by the space you can make it uh, okay or not. You can increase or decrease. Uh, that part you can done or you can change even the fonts. Okay, I'm not uh, interested. I want to show you that how you can uh, do the calculation part. So now we will come uh, very quickly to the uh, number of sessions have been conducted. Okay, and now here uh, you all know that for plan you can use achievement. You can uh, use uh, the count function that how many sessions have been conducted. But now you see. Uh, there is one uh, trick over here that many of times if someone knows that you are using this formula what formula here I will first try here in achievement so that I will uh, design it later so is equal to I am going to count A because I am going to count the values in awareness session from D2 to D1000 I am just sitting inside the upper limit at max I cannot, I cannot take more than 1000 awareness sessions. So this is I am sitting as a safe 
point that uh, whatever you keep in in entering uh, 20 now what is the point once i know that uh, this is working i will just go simply here and add the data so now when you come to the dashboard it is coming 22 the 22 hour sessions has been conducted but i don't want this thing to be happen i what i want that what is the numbers this number should be there and what else is the identification the date should be there at this date even time i don't worry about much but i want the date i want the school name i want the number of students and i also want the name of the facilitator and these things cannot be blank now how to count this now you see that's why using the functions which you i was saying you that logically powered functions so what is this power and how you can use it so that how you can uh, just i will show you that how we can uh, make changes here so that we will design it later now i am uh, trying to write here function i am using the count ifs because i want to uh, check multiple ranges what i want to check in awareness session i want this this whole range i will just select up to uh, 35 okay just for the demonstration uh, to be not empty and not empty can be uh, shown as a two uh, angle brackets less than and greater than together so it is that not blank this is the indication in uh, our our excel okay so the second sheet is that b2 to b uh, 35 again is there and i want this to be uh, not blank okay again i want this uh, number of girls to be i hope that uh, you are able to um, follow me you don't have any question if you have any question you please open your mic and otherwise you put into the your chat box so what i'm saying that here in this case i want this one two three but now you see here now it is correctly coming when uh, wherever i installed this awareness session i added these two sessions but it is not counting that okay if i add the date like one one 2024 2023 let it be and i added the number now only it is counting to be 21 but now you see when after seven days you are opening this same excel sheet and if i ask you here what are you doing in this formula what is this formula you are saying that awareness session d2 to d35 is not equal to blank but what is d2 to d35 whether it is school name or whether it is date what it is <coughs> sorry so in this case it becomes very difficult to understand that uh, what is this uh, function is how to debug this function so we learned in last session we can make the table that's why i have chosen the excel now you can select direct up to the 35 already okay and now you can uh, go into the insert and create a table and this already has been selected and my table has headers okay and now my table name is awareness session okay now i will come again here i will rewrite this formula for you i want here awareness session to be awareness session now you see here a little window is coming I will just click double click here so it will select me I will open the angle bracket it will show me the name I want the name of the school I will again I will just complete and I want that to be not equal to less than okay next what I want the awareness session I will give tab I will open angle bracket the date the date sorry the date tab you need to give the tab to select uh, i don't want it to be uh, not equal to blank 
okay and then i want the awareness uh, session the number of girls participated in session uh, to be not equal to now you see i have not even opened that sheet once and i was able to do any kind of analysis here so now you can see that number of students planned uh, i can do it but here number of students i have covered again i need to do what i need to do i need to sum what i need to do some awareness session what i need to sum summation the number of girls participated in the session i close the awareness bracket now you see boom how much readability has been increased are you able to um, understand what i have did just give any quick uh, session that yes yes ma'am i'll just uh, okay sir you are uh, quite now awake after 10 o'clock <laughs> many people because of cold are not uh, responding okay let it be but uh, just i want to demonstrate you that you can use make the table and once you know the formula again we will just repeat here instead of school awareness png i will use the awareness png so that it will give me some uh, nice awareness symbols i like this one i will open image in new tab i will uh, save this image to be awareness dashboard something i have saved i don't know and then i will just insert this image dashboard here i am doing a little fast but don't worry about these are just uh, simple uh, cases in this case i will do uh, some merging and i want here to be uh, awareness session don't give uh, much importance to my and here i can uh, just uh, this i'm just making it here it is already fixed that i want to uh, cover the planned school are this much i will just copy this formula whole formula i am not copying the cell uh, you please remember if i copy the cell now i have given the table that's why it will not worry too much but if i given the formula such as like is equal to uh, a1 plus a2 and if i just copy this cell and paste this cell now you see these two values are not same because what we have learned in first session the relative cell references it is coming two cells left side two cells down side that's why it is calculating from a1 two cells left side c1 two cells down side from a1 and a2 so that this is calculating from c4 to c5 okay to be a uh, little careful about it how many students i have planned so again i will not create table because we don't have now time but you can do if you want to do uh, something i am going to the student master list and now i want to uh, calculate this whole number from k uh, k3 i think yes yes k3 to s53 yes, i want to calculate this whole number i will just enter this is my uh, targeted number because uh, as per baseline my this is data i will just simply copy another formula from here which i have already calculated to paste here and the pending students must be this minus uh, this uh, you can add the uh, functions to check whether it is uh, right or wrong like it's it should not exceed to that uh, it, i can just give you here the funny also that if g minus g3 is uh, greater than This cell, I don't want one one. I want this cell. Uh, in this case, I want to give a message that you are doing the false report. I will. Okay. Otherwise, I just want to continue with G twelve. 
minus g tends. This is my original ones. Yes, please, uh, if you possible, you uh, write me the message. Because my I'm sharing the screen, it will be whole. What about I need to do? Screen is not visible. Is it visible now? Sajal, will you please confirm that? Is it visible now? Yeah, yeah, it is visible, but sometimes it becomes blurred. Ah, yes, that is... Uh, Maybe the issue is my side. In, internet, no, no, my side also internet connectivity issue. Check my internet connection. Yes, we are sometimes blur. Uh, just uh, give me one second, because I have connected to my neighbor's Wi-Fi. These problems are coming. I'll just change it. Uh, please bear with me. I hope that uh, now it should uh, resolve all the errors. Okay. Now is it visible? Now I, uh, sorry, extremely sorry because of this, my technical issues, but now I think uh, it will be visible, isn't it? Vijay, yes, we are not clear. So uh, let others join in uh, between. Uh, anyone can uh, just send a message on WhatsApp group that you can now rejoin. I will just uh, demonstrate you that uh, we were doing some here. We have add some funny message that students got covered. Suppose they report as 10,000. Uh, okay. So now if it is. So that we need to do actually ulta, we have to do it wrong. Just 
state 12 students planned versus what is more correct not is correct We are not checking the, uh, sir, we are checking that students covered, which is G13, which is greater than G12. Okay, now you got in part part. Now you see that it is giving some funny message that false reporting, I will sue you. If I remove it, it to the 8000, now it is correctly showing me that, yes it is, pending students are 1150, okay. So now like this uh, kind of checks and uh, balances you can do with this uh, reporting and here you can show students covered is, I need not to see again to the uh, sheet from where which I am calculating, I will just type awareness session tab. This is my data. I'll just open bracket. Now I will say that number of girls participated. Tab. What I want to do? I want to do the summation that I forgot. So I will just start with sum. And now you see it has calculated. I have not opened the awareness session. When you want to write multiple formulas, you please make use of tables. And the pending schools is equal to the planned versus achievement okay so now this is the data and uh, we will do the designing part later that how we can uh, do design part uh, better and there are multiple uh, tricks and techniques which you can use to look it a little uh, better okay now I want uh, one more thing uh, to be done here. I want the graph. I want just a graph of every month how many students are getting covered in the my project. So that I want the number of students which are getting covered okay so this is not looking something uh, quite good you can make it better also uh, but i will add first i will let me add uh, some uh, one more part i want here awareness session chart i don't want only interested in how many planned how many achieved i want every month how many uh, girls has been covered because you might do like before uh, the end date, you might cover the all the, your target within one th and that is not worth it because the quality will not be there. So now I want every month how many girls uh, got covered. How to do that? So now you see here is my data. Okay. This is my data for awareness session. I want every month how many girls covered. So I am not interested in 14, 12 or 18, 10. You might be able to see me. I am not interested in 25th October or there are all in only one date they have date. But in November they have date. I am not interested in 25th of November or 28th of November or 29th of November. I want that in November how many girls uh, attended this session. So there are multiple ways to do it. Uh, the first important you can do it of course here you can add one column and here you can use the function called month month of this date sorry month of b2 One function called is date to check whether this is a date or not. Okay. Just delete this uh, column 
and I will add the column at the here because I have already added is date. Okay, in Excel there is because this is lower version, is date function is not available. So that uh, I will just check um, with the date value. I will just check the date value of this date. So not coming. So it's wrong with the formatting. I think so. So here the format is general. I need to convert it to the number first. So I want to convert it long date. If I again write this formula, it is not getting converted. To make it very uh, simple, I will just first delete this table, and uh, you can see that whenever you are going to do uh, something, might you might fall this many problems. You will get these problems, so that you should have the debugging mindset. That why this. Uh, formula is going wrong what is happening wrong so I will just check with date value what is the wrong with this so now it is not date so I will just try to make it as a uh, formatted only it will be text but formatted as date Okay, there is some uh, error we are facing. I will just look it into that and I will uh, come back to you. But the thing I want to, uh, yes. Yes, yes, it is an older version. That also problem and many a times when you are taking data. So now this data I have originally uh, created in the Google Sheets. Now that I have uh, ready-made downloaded into the Excel version at that time many compatibility not only this i was just you might remember i have just reformatted this it was like this and below it was okay but somewhere here it was here so these problems uh, might arise but what i want to uh, show you that just i can select this i'm not able to do with formulas but the thing which i'm actually wanted to show you that i can create the pivot table with this in the new worksheet so this is a pivot table I can use the row labels as my date. Now here, this is uh, okay. this is these are not all in uh, one format. So uh, that's why now we are not able to do it. I need to clean this data and do this part. But for um, just for our understanding, I will just retype the first two three dates in the format like this. Okay. Whenever 
possible when you are not able to do any debugging you can do this one uh, i have converted it to the uh, format and now i'm sure i don't know it should work oh again it is coming error okay let it be but now this is these are the dates for uh, sure that these are the dates what is happening here okay we will check with this as a small selection where we have rewrite we'll go to just add this uh, date part here mm. and the values i should have Here now you see the group option is coming. The group option you might remember we used to make a bins of high class, middle class and lower class. In this case we can make as a months. Okay. So now you can see that in October month there are two schools has been added. Just for demonstration I will uh, give you some short demonstration. We are already running out of time. But this is very interesting part that now i have just opened the same sheet into the google sheets and i will try here let's see the new sheet i have created now same uh, pivot table i have created in my excel and i am putting date into my rows uh, here also the okay so now here it is coming uh, properly as a date it has identified by google so i can right click here and now you see the create a pivot date group function is coming here and if i use the month you see that april june and november it is coming because these are not dates is uh, not coming into the date function it has not identified with google as a dates so but these three are counted and now here if i add the in values name of the school now you can count in april 2 in june 1 in november 2 schools have been added so uh, this is about the data cleaning so that uh, more importantly this is what lesson for me also that uh, before we go into uh, such a kind of practice we can uh, look at the data cleaning so that now we will just uh, change our mind and what we will do we will create the graph only for the dates so that i will just go in awareness session date and i want this and this i have selected with control two columns and i'm going date and number of girls participated i'm going to insert the line chart okay okay so now you can see that the number of girls here uh, this part i will just delete it and this station what is happening why this is uh, anybody can uh, tell me that why this error is coming can anybody tell me why this graph extra graph is coming
because we we have had uh, selected the cells uh, the columns let's delete this and i will recreate this what is the error i will tell you now we have we have selected this whole uh, our uh, column we select a whole column instead of that we can select only the up to 22 uh, or uh, even 21 that is original data 21 and then we can go and press our control and select up to the 21 okay and then if i click insert and in my line chart now you see now it has been correctly coming to the as per my requirement that I want the date and here uh, if I had uh, correctly formatted the dates then I could have got it in months so below here I could have got the months also okay and uh, I'll just delete this and now you can see that uh, this is the fairly uh, I will not say that it is the excellent one but we have at least tried to uh, create one uh, basic of uh, the dashboard something uh, which is uh, dynamic something uh, which will be keep on changing uh, we can have the multiple even uh, 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 enhancement in this but uh, as we don't have the time available with this uh, our so that we'll just come to the conclusion of what is the um, now forward way forward we can look at so this was a small demonstration on the uh, dashboard you can add uh, multiple things on these you can have uh, some good styling which i have not done but uh, this is the fairly good a dashboard which you can have and I will try to make some another video only uh, dedicated to the dashboarding uh, what kinds of uh, addition we can do so now we are uh, today anyone having doubt so far so now even in any excel part you want there actually say uh, drop down uh, Yes, so now you suppose in each I am having male and female. Okay, uh, then I am having option called others and trans. Okay, this is I have already typed and kept in one of my sheet. Okay. You suppose that this is the different sheet now I come here K here I have created the sheet called one another sheet where I want to enter the data gender okay clear this is the different sheet suppose huh? this is different sheet now within this cell I want only one out of these four cells should come otherwise what will happen people will type male male ma make will make the spelling mistakes when I will count here it will come different 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 I will not be able to do properly analysis so how to do that you can come and select the sales which you want this whole sales I will just change my settings because you are, might not be able to uh, see it now I hope your full screen is visible to you okay so you can select this whole sales I will just zoom in this gender part here I go into the data and data validation is additional window visible to you yes yes yes, yes. yes. so here it is saying that allow allow in my circle it is that allow what I want to allow I want to allow only the list what is the list I can create the source I can select this okay this I have been selected so this is my range this is the source okay you come into the input message show input message when the cell is selected I don't want to show any message but I want the error alert 
Style is that stop. You stop warning or information. You can just give the in warning. You will not uh, stop to adding value. We'll get, you'll get just warning. That I don't want. I want I don't want any other value to be entered except this four. Okay. Title is that strict rule. Okay. Enter from four options. Okay. Now I have selected. Okay. Now if I go here, you see one drop down error is coming. Now it is showing me something. I can double type and type M A L E and it is correcting me and taking the value because it is in list. But you can select a mail. Otherwise, if I type here to be instead of others or instead of trans, I want to type T G to be transgender. And if I click enter, now you see the strict rule it is coming that enter from four options these four options so it will not take me in, until i clear that value it should be at least either blank or i can select from these two values even uh, in advanced version like you type m it will come it will so it is for data entry also it is very easy that if you just type for o and then type t the M it is coming mail already because we have entered already but in Google sheet etc it will come like a option to you so that you need not to type full full it will just tick are you clear about this yes yes, yes. thank you yes, yes, yes. yes any other doubt in any uh, our previous problem Okay, just uh, to keep on the record and uh, to conclude that, see, uh, whatever you have learned so far or what I know is very limited and I'm not the expert in Excel. Uh, there is so much to learn. Actually, if you remember, I, initially I have started with one two hours uh, session on uh, what are the advanced topics of Excel like macros and how you can connect. Uh, if you uh, have filled the feedback form, you might have received the automatic mail that once you submit the feedback form you will receive the automatically email how to do that how to do the vba so that you can program something you can add something your additional buttons or your additional programming additional your own formulas like i said uh, you want many a times you want to be add the number like in your ta many a times you want to write in text also like 4,228 rupees and many a times if we change the our TA amount in text we are not able to do that and hence it is just getting problem after printing we come to know that oh I have not changed that so how to create such a complex formula that also can be there we have not learned all formulas there is if you want to specify in accounting there are accounting formulas if you want to specify how to connect with database that we are not covered how we can do some flash field uh, calculated goal programming there is so much to do in the excel for that you need to practice and whenever any situation comes to you how i learned the excel is that whenever any problem is coming someone told you that you do this work you do some data entry part like in your dps1 you might be doing or your fws you might be doing that just give me a second so that uh, we can learn by taking this as a task challenge that how can I do it in minimum efforts or minimum task or I want to create some dashboard if I saw something in the Excel sheet just like I created the automated mail for you you must have the curiosity how you did it automatically mail is coming how to do that or I saw the budgeting of Dan foundation because all are know Dan foundation 
and there were cross sheet referencing until that i was not known that you can take value from one sheet and calculate in another sheet so i tried to explore what are the formulas has been used in that formula and i learned many things from looking at others excel sheet so that curiosity you can keep and excel is not a big thing uh, to learn you can just uh, yes you can learn everything you can create the mail merge the mail merge function you need to learn how you can integrate the excel to directly to creating the reports that part uh, we will cover if we get time uh, if you have interest but not as a main part of our now here we will close uh, to the excel we have learned uh, almost the intermediate part of the excel and this much if you know that you can do fairly good uh, data analytics part designing part and dashboarding part and you uh, might be successful in your professional line okay so with this uh, remarks today we have stretched too much i'm sorry for that uh, because we uh, spent more time in our review process but today i was wanted to close this so that uh, with the new year with the next session we can start and go to the statistics i hope you don't have any question if you have any question you please keep on posted on forum so that uh, we will all know that uh, you have query any query any small or big or any big task or any small task you can do that yes akram uh, this session will be recorded no? yes yes that's why i am talking this much because you all three know more about this just i am uh, talking about this because this will uh, remain in the record so that those who are not attended now they can go and watch it so with this uh, we will be uh, closing now i think i am live on the youtube so that you will be able to uh, see immediately after 10 minutes this video on the youtube uh, so i hope i have made some sincere efforts to put everything together you i will just today uh, or maybe tomorrow share the resources where you can learn uh, excel things so there are many good resources good youtube channels are available and uh, i hope that you will enjoy the learning thanks for uh, your support i hope uh, now uh, shall we close yes yes definitely yes just one thing the next time we can go from google sheet directly i think most of uh, working professional directly using google sheet nowadays uh, excel is the best excel is the best uh, yes uh, just just give me a minute